Good afternoon. It's nice to meet you. My name is Hélène and I'm here, the manager of this library. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. On this uh, beginning of January, you made the resolution to uh, come to the library, yes? More often. <laughs> so, uh, it's perfect. I want to take care of you today and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, register your details onto my computer first and then I will, uh, I will ask you a few questions regarding your tests and your family test uh, in terms of book and I will uh, present you a series of books and hopefully you will uh, bring them home and uh, I will create a subscription um, card for you, okay? For you and your family. So, does it sound good to you? Okay, so please have a seat. Thank you. get started the first thing is to ask you your details okay so um, uh, your uh, full name please Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to just answer these administration questions to prepare your file, okay? right yes okay. and um, do you have children mm -hmm. two okay yes that's perfect because I can prepare a card for your family for your husband and your children too so you don't have to come together they can uh, just print the same card, okay? And yes. so uh, there's a special discount for families. Uh, it's fifty percent discount. So I will uh, apply this discount for you. Uh, fifty percent off. Okay. So that's good news, right? <laughs> yes. A little bit of saving doesn't hurt. <laughs> so that's great. Okay, so now I would like to ask you a few questions um, concerning your tests and your family tests in terms of uh, books, okay? So uh, let's start with you. Do you like cooking books? Yes. So I can enter that. Do you like uh, self-development books? Mm -hmm. 
do you or one of your family members like a biography? A lot. Oh, that's great. So we have so many interesting ones that uh, I could uh, show to you. Okay, in a minute. Yes, okay, so you like uh, love stories, oh, that's great, because I have a lot of them too, um, and I have one in particular that I'm going to show you in a minute, that I'm sure you're going to love, 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 and fall in love with. Right. So, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select a few books according to uh, the tests that you told me about, okay? And uh, you will tell me if you want me to uh, add them to your uh, to your list, okay? Right. And first, I'm going to prepare a little card for you. This will be a temporary card until I post you the uh, uh, the original one, okay? Okay. All right. So let's get started. Uh, with the card, so that's the the card I told you about. <laughs> so you see the shroom here, and uh, I'm going to just have write down the name of your family, and uh, so you uh, can collect points, and you can or your children can win something they can also uh, at school exchange the little cards so that's what's the purpose of the christmas card for the children so that's what we have so i'm going to just simply write down the name of your family in there and So I'm going to write your, your name, so it's for Mr. and Mrs. Okay. And, and uh, okay, the name of your children. Mm -hmm. And the second one. Alright, so that's the name of your family on there, so... I will give that uh, to you at the end, okay? So I'm gonna put that right here, and now I'm very excited to... Um, to show you a few books according to your tests, okay? So, okay, so I'm going to... <coughs> you these books right here Got it. so I've selected these books for you I'm going to show them to you uh, briefly one by one so we have one selected something for your children and something for your husband and the rest is for you so of course the best is that your husband and children come to uh, select their own books or talk to me about what they like so we have these books I'm going to start by a book which is actually for both your husband and you because this is a book about burlesque and uh, it's a book about a lady that I really like her name is Dita Vantes and um, she 
uh, is a burlesque dancer and uh, she likes the pin-up lifestyle which I really like too I think it's very colorful and elegant very feminine it is sensual but it is not uh, pornographic so that's the reason why this is something that a uh, couple they like to uh, to see I mean in terms of very artistic picture that I'm going to show you a few of them and uh, so I thought that you would like this yes you do and uh, it's also a book where Dita Vontisi gives um, tips on uh, how she uh, transform into this very uh, sensual uh, character and she actually says that uh, the makeup is really important into the art of uh, transformation when it comes to burlesque so uh, I will let you discover the book the art of the teas so that's why I said that it could please both you and your husband because you know, it's very playful also to uh, dress or uh, to a makeup for a teasing type of thing in between couples. So I will leave you discover. But I was thinking to read you a little part. What do you say? Okay. I'm going to read part of his book, of this book. Just the uh, probably the introduction of the book. dedicates this book to her mother uh, simply because she explains that when she started uh, into burlesque she actually uh, when she was very young she worked in a lingerie shop and uh, after she discovered her, her mother's lingerie so she fell in love with uh, lingerie and she worked at a young age in a shop so we can say that this career wouldn't have happened uh, if it was not for her mother so I will just read a, a few sentences from the, the introduction of the book okay? so introduction Dita Vontese, if you please I advocate glamour every day every minute glamour sweatpants at least spiritually shave me if I am chilled I nestle a fur store I pull seamed stockings over my gums I may even wrap the cashmere rub around myself if I am staying at home on a winter night glamour above all things this is what I say there was a time after all well before all when a lady dressed to the nines no matter what her destination steam stockings and garter belts every single day 
she curled her eyelashes and she set her hair in luscious waves. She painted her lips a flushed rich scarlet. Wherever the day took her she wore high heels and satin gloves to her elbows and veils of the finest netting over her eyes and so do I she says so she has been inspired by uh, artists from before and so she decided to have the same life as them I find this uh, book very fascinating and this lady and her dedication to her art uh, very inspiring because when she started it was not cool or easy or uh, trendy to do this so it's really inspirational so that was this beautiful, feminine and uh, elegant book. You're interested, yeah? I'm glad I will put that on the side for you. Okay. So that was this very special book. Now you told me that you like a biography, so I have another one. The next book I would like to introduce to you, since you like a uh, biography, uh, is a book about an actress called Joan Collins' Passion for Life. And so this is about a lady, a star from uh, another era too um, and she is having a very long career because she's still working and uh, I'm very inspired by her because she's one of these strong ladies, strong character but not only in her movies, in real life that's what is interesting for me she chooses life and she uh, chooses what she prefers and she um, just wants to be happy. I know that she divorced many times. <laughs> she loves to fall in love and uh, when this feeling of falling in love is not here anymore, she tends to look for this feeling again so she had to fight a lot in her career because she's from an era where being a woman in this type of world was even less dif less easy than it is now even though it's still not uh, easy uh, it was even less and uh, I admire for her courage she had difficult moments in her life. She talks about it in her books. It's not the first book she does, of course. So this book is a beautiful book. Full of imagery. Of this era that I like so much. That's why I liked uh, the Tarantisi book also. You know, the starlets, the stars from before, from the 40s, 50s, 60s. I really love this. That's her when she was young. She's a beautiful woman with strong character. Uh, I don't know, now she must be in her 80s, you know, I think so. And she's still working and so we can see her great 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 
uh, grandmother and photos from before her family I liked the photos that they were doing before it was taking a long time to make it wasn't like now we can do selfies so very easy before it could take a while before to get the result so it's a beautiful book about a family and all the, the photos when she was young when she was less young when So that's it for this book on John Connitz and the next book I would like to show you is a book about a love story, a legendary love story. It's the story of a prince and a princess. And this story is about Prince Rainier of Monaco and Grace Kelly, who was uh, an American actress. So you may know her, and if you research her, she's uh, had like a tragic, you know, traumatic and so um, she died in a car accident and uh, it's a quite a dramatic story because uh, they, f they fell in love he fell in love with a beautiful actress she became a princess and she had to um, kind of live the life of a princess with the positive and the negative stuff and to cut the story short she uh, couldn't act anymore if she were going to be a princess because she had to represent her uh, new uh, statute or rank so it has been difficult because she wanted to act and uh, she had to let go of this so she worked a lot uh, in charity to help people and, uh, but one day she was a bit upset uh, about the stuff that were asked from her, you know, uh, as a princess. So she took her car, she liked to drive and she liked to drive fast. And I think uh, she had an accident like between Monaco and Cannes, there's a lot of it's not straight lines and it's beautiful scenery and it can be dangerous of course so she she had an accident she died so that was the end of the love story she became a legend because usually when someone like this dies prematurely they always become legends she used to be a very beloved actress in uh, America plus she became a princess so it's like a fairy tale then the ending uh, was dramatic so it's an excellent story for a legend but the book is very beautiful it gives a lot of details about the scenery, the beauty around Cannes and Monaco and all these beautiful places. So there's once in a while some photos but it is not uh, a book for pictures but for 
the beauty, the poetry of uh, the events that are described in great, great detail. It literally makes you feel like you were here. So there's yeah a few photos in the middle of the book. When she got married and look her wedding gown. What do you say for this book? Yes, I'm going to add it to the list. I have one last book, which is a book for children. And this book is one of my favorite books about tales. So it will please your, both your children. And it will please you because you can read that for them. And all the family basically. This is a book in French because you told me that your children were bilinguals since your husband is French. So It is an African tale book and I like the feel of the cover. It's very soft. So I will show you a few uh, of the of the pages. Africa African tales. So that is how it looks and uh, you have pictures and there's uh, many tales in this book. So the drawing are really funny. I really love this book. So uh, I could read for you a little bit to show you and I uh, wanted to do check how many stories we have. I'm gonna check if it's said at the beginning. Or maybe at the end, let's check, I'm not sure. So, uh, well, there's a lot of them actually, so let's count them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, The African countries that these tales come from are Mali, Senegal, Cameroon, Niger and Nigeria, Ghana, Togo, 
Burkina Faso, which is the land of my father, Cameroon, Gambia, Guinea, Chad, and Ivory Coast. So let's maybe I'm going to read to you just a few sentences because uh, it's in French, but maybe it will sound good to you and uh, your husband can translate for you or your children. Un jeune homme du nom de Mamadou qui voulait apprendre à lire et à écrire partit un jour à la recherche d'une école. Il quitta sa province pour se rendre dans la région du Cayor au Sénégal. Là vivait un savant qui y enseignait aux enfants. Mamadou resta auprès de son maître aussi longtemps que nécessaire. Quand il sut lire et écrire parfaitement, il décida de rentrer chez lui. So that was the first couple of sentences of this book. And what did you say? Mm -hmm. I'm glad. So I'm going to put all of these four books for you. And I'm going to pack them on the bag. And then um, I hope that I will see you soon. Is there anything else that I can do for you? No? You're okay? Okay, so that is um, that is your your card with your name. So please have it, and uh, you can um, uh, bring this card next time. And then in a few weeks you will receive your permanent card. Okay. Great. Uh, you will also receive an invoice at home that I prepared for you. Okay. And then uh, you can pay next time your subscription. It's a subscription that you pay for the whole year, okay? All right, perfect. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for coming. Take care now.